have room enough, amen, to store it. Now I'm going to go to our focus scripture, amen, of the day. Amen. It's coming from the book of Romans, amen. The book of Romans. Romans 15, amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 15, and I will put that amen on the screen, amen, today. I will put it on the screen. It says, for you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again, amen, to fear. But you receive the spirit of sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father, amen. If you keep reading that scripture in the next uh, scripture said the spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are amen God's children amen we are children of God and now if we are children then we are heirs amen heirs according to God's promises and co-heirs with Christ amen so if we indeed we share into his sufferings that we may share, amen, his glory, amen. That's the word of God, amen, today. Well, there is a word, amen, from the Lord this morning, amen, that he brought to me that I'm going to speak on this morning. And the word today, amen, is he told me to tell you, amen, do not fear. Amen. God says, do not fear people of God. Amen. Do not fear. This pandemic, amen, has caused a lot of fear, amen, in people's lives. Man's hearts are failing them with fear, just like the Bible said. The Bible told us that all these things was going to happen, so it's not a surprise to none of us, amen. When COVID-19 happened in 20. 20, it took all of us surprise. We were all doing everything that we wanted to do. Amen. But because of the pandemic, it took us <laughs> for a loop. Amen. It changed our world in the way that we do things. Amen. We could not longer be around each other because so many people, amen, was catching it. We was Wearing masks and everything, amen. Trying to protect ourselves, social distancing, amen. But God told us in the Bible that this was going to happen, amen. That this time was going to come into our lives. And He told us, amen, do not fear, amen. All of the things that are happening in this world, do not fear. And yet, some of us, amen. We still are afraid and we still fear. Amen. It's so many people that say, amen, that they have fear. But right now, how many know, amen, that our faith is being tested? It was tested during the pandemic. And the pandemic is not over. Amen. It's still happening. Amen. And our faith is still being tested. Just when we thought it was over. Amen. As we celebrated the 4th of July, amen. In August, the hospital rates, the numbers of people in ICU and in the hospital admit, admitted, amen, rose up. It's not over, amen. And God still want us to keep the faith, amen. For without faith, the Bible says, it's impossible to please God, amen. And faith without works, amen, is dead. So many people's hearts are failing them with fear because of sickness, because of the increased numbers that were in hospitals, because of the losses, amen, from family members and loved ones and friends. And people not having enough finances to pay their bills. People losing their jobs because jobs are closing down. People's hearts steadily failing with fear. 
people fearing of losing their homes and their cars and so many other things and loss of their finances and their possessions, amen. But God never changes. We learned this pandemic, amen. Things change, people change, amen. This world and things going on, even the technology, the way we were doing things, amen. Even churches, amen. We had to adjust to the pandemic and all the things that were happening in our world, amen. But God is the same God, amen. He never changes, hallelujah. Give God praise, amen. He's the same God. He will be tomorrow, amen. This is the day, hallelujah. The Lord has made. Let us rejoice, amen, and be glad in it. And God wanted me to tell you, amen. He said, do not fear my people, my children, amen. He told us that this time was going to come, amen. And to put our trust in him. If you read your Bible, those of you, amen, who are Bible readers, 365 times it says in the Bible, amen, do not fear, the Lord says. It's like he's saying to us, amen, every day when you wake up, do not fear, for I am God, amen, the God of all mankind. Is there anything? too hard for me, God says. He said in Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, 41, 10, he said, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will help you, amen. I will strengthen you, amen. I will hold you with my righteous right hand, amen. How many know that God is with us? He is for us. Amen. Even through this pandemic, he was with us. He is for us. Amen. So we can't be worried about anything, but praying about everything. Amen. Bring your prayer and your petitions to God. Amen. And begin to thank him and praise him and worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. I dare you to praise God through your situation. Even though you don't understand it, I dare you to praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I don't understand everything I'm going through. I don't know what's going to happen next, but I believe, God, that you're going to bring me out because you said in your word that there are many afflictions of the righteous, but you deliver me out of them all. Amen. He didn't say one. He didn't say two. He didn't say some. Amen. He said, I don't know. I'm going to deliver you if you trust me. He already told us in this world, amen, my brothers and sisters, that we will have trouble. But to be of good cheer, why be of good cheer? Why be happy? Amen. Because Jesus has already overcome the world. Amen. It ended. Hallelujah. On the cross. Amen. God is with us. And even when Jesus left. Amen. And he went to prepare a place for us. Amen. He left us his comforter, his Holy Spirit. Amen. That will guide and lead us. Hallelujah. Into all truth. Amen. He also told us. To continue, amen, and to obey his two new commandments, to love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, amen, and love your neighbor as yourself, amen. If we continue in the word of God and we're meditating, amen, day and night, like it says in Joshua, amen, 1 8, to meditate day and night, then we will have good success. Amen. How many know that the weapons of our warfare are not worldly or carnal, but are mighty in God? Hallelujah. On the contrary to the pulling down, amen, of strongholds. And it's demolished strongholds. Amen. 
any sickness, any addiction, any financial, financial difficulty, anything that you wrestle with in your life. Amen. The word of God will pull down and demolish strongholds. That's the sword. Amen of God. The full armor of God, he tells us to put on. So we must have our shield of faith. Amen. And also have our sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. According to Ephesians 6. Amen. Because the devil is walking around, amen, like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Amen. That's why it's not good to be drunk with wine or anything. We need to be on alert. Amen. Because we have an enemy out there that is seeking to destroy us. Amen. And our children and our family. But no weapon, devil. No weapon, devil, found against us shall prosper. Amen. No COVID formed against us shall prosper. No doubt to battle. Amen. Any mutation, no weapon, devil, formed against us shall prosper. In every lying tongue, hallelujah, that rises up against us in judgment shall be condemned. This is the vindication of my Father. Amen. In heaven. Hallelujah. God is able. He is with me. He is for me. Amen. No matter what I face, no matter what I go through in this world, God is with me. God is for me. Hallelujah. Amen. So we use the word of God. Amen. To pull down strongholds. That's in our lives. Amen. The devil tried to Trick us, distract us, and make us to think all kind of things. Amen. But the word of God demolishes strongholds of human reasoning and false arguments. That's why God said not to argue with a fool. Amen. The Bible says don't argue with a fool because you will become like him. Amen. Believe God, amen. Trust God, amen. Know and understand who you are and who you serve, amen. For any of you who is suffering right now from anything, I cast down right now in the name of Jesus anxiety. And I tell you, I decree and declare that you will be anxious, hallelujah, for nothing, amen. The spirit of depression, I rebuke you. Amen. God is with me. God is for me. God is with my brothers and sisters. Amen. I cast down sickness in, in the name of Jesus. I cast down COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. By Jesus' stripe, I decree and declare that you're already here. Amen. I cast down those who are in poverty right now. And I decree and declare that wealth and riches are in your houses. Amen. That you're blessed coming in and you're blessed, amen, going out. For those of you who are facing loneliness, because you feel that you're alone, but you're never alone. Amen. Lord God, the Lord God would not leave you. As orphans, amen. When our mother and our father forsake us, the Lord said he will take us up, amen. And no God sticks to, closer than any brother, hallelujah, amen. For those of you who are facing sadness, please know that weeping endures for the night, but joy, hallelujah, comes in the morning, amen. For those who are facing fear that's causing you to move forward in what God wants you to do. Amen. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Amen. For those of you who are weak, you lost your 
your strength. God gives grace to the humble and he will increase your strength. Amen. For those of you who are even going through it in your marriages and you're worried and you're afraid. Amen. No weapon formed against your marriage shall prosper. Amen. You and your spouse are one flesh. Amen. For those of you worried about your children, blessed shall be the peace of your children, amen, and your children's children, hallelujah. Glory be to God. For those of you who the doctor has given you a diagnosis and it says this, and he's telling you this sickness will not end well, that it leading to death. I decree and declare with long life Will God satisfy you and show you his salvation? Amen. You should live and not die and declare the wonderful works of the Lord. Hallelujah. For those of you, the devil is attacking your finances. Amen. God will increase it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare increase that abundance is your birthright, amen. That you will lend to many nations and you would not have to borrow, hallelujah. For those of you who having problems with your husband or your spouses, amen. He will come to know the Lord, amen. Hold on, my sister. He will come to know the Lord. Keep doing what God has called you to do as a woman of God. The Proverbs 31 woman. Amen. Wives. Amen. Men who have wives. Amen. You will rise up and call her blessed. And even your children will call her blessed. Amen. She will become the wife that you and God wanted her to be. Amen. A Proverbs 31 woman. Amen. A noble woman. Amen. I plead the blood of Jesus. Amen. Right now over everyone's home. I plead the blood of Jesus. Amen. And no weapon formed against your families or your home shall prosper in the name of Jesus. No weapon, devil, is over. Amen. It's over. It ends today. Amen. God is able. Amen. In the Old Testament, we hear our witnesses. Amen. The prophets and the people before us. Hallelujah. I think about Joshua. Amen. And Caleb. As they went out, amen, to look for the promised land, amen. And they saw giants in the land, amen. And when they saw giants there, amen, they wanted to turn around when they went and told Moses about everything they saw. The people, the Israelites, were afraid. Amen. But Caleb, amen. He said, surely God is for us. Amen. We can go and possess the land. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. He knew that we serve an awesome, mighty God that is able, amen, to do all things. Amen. That surpasses even our understanding. We don't get it. We don't understand it. But it's God. Hallelujah. David with Goliath. Amen. A little boy, amen, came and killed a big giant, amen, with no armor on, amen. He took out the armor, amen. How many know when you with God, you don't need all that because he's awesome and mighty all by yourself, amen. All he needed was a stone, amen, and to tell 
Goliath, Goliath just kept talking to David. Amen. David said, you come to me with a spear and a javelin, but I come in authority of the gods of the army of Israel. Amen. And when he slung all oh, the liar went down. Amen. Later becoming King David. What would have happened if David had a ran in fear? Amen. What would have happened if he didn't know that God was with him and God was for him? Amen. He would have never killed the liar. Amen. He would have never became king later in his life of Israel. Amen. Let me not forget another witness or witnesses. Amen. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. In the furnace. Amen. When the king told them to turn up the heat. Amen. And when they turned it up, up Lord, they looked and they were still living. Hallelujah. That's how God is. And when they looked, they looked down, amen, in the furnace, amen, and told the king, look like another man is with him, hallelujah. God was with him, amen, hallelujah. And he delivered them and helped them, amen, God. Oh, God, he helped them. Daniel in the lion's den. God shut the lion's mouth up, amen. When God is for you, marvelous and wonderful things happen that you don't understand. You won't even get it. But you know God did it. How many of you know things happen in your life and you know God did it? You know he was there. Amen. You could not explain it. You don't know how it happened. But you know God did it. Hallelujah. He brought me out. Just like the blind man. Amen. When they questioned him about Jesus Healing his sight. He said, I don't know. But all I know, I was once blind. Hallelujah. But now I see. Hallelujah. God was with Joseph. Even with people, his own family members. Amen. His own brothers sold him into slavery. Amen. God was still with Joseph. Even when he was lied on by a lying wife. Potiphar's wife, amen. And he ended up in prison, amen. God was still with Joseph. God was still for Joseph, amen. Hallelujah. He is still with us during this pandemic. He is still for us, people of God. You just got to believe it and trust, amen. And oh, hallelujah. Ruth, amen, a Jewish girl who married Xerxes, amen. When he's supposed to be queen. Amen. But she ended up marrying him. Amen. And ended up blessed. Amen. She married a Persian king. Hallelujah. And she ended up saving her people that they won't destroy by a sheep minister that wanted to annihilate and destroy the Israelites. But she prayed, amen, for her people. And the king, the Persian king loved her so much, amen. That didn't happen, amen. God called her for a time, the Bible says, such as that. And it's the same thing with us. God has called some of us, amen, for a time such as this. We don't get it. We don't understand it, but we must be faithful, amen. We must trust God. We must run our race that is set ahead of us, amen. Ruth, a Moab woman, the one that didn't know about the God of Israel. Amen. She loved her mother-in-law. She loved her husband. Amen. But she loved Naomi enough to follow her. My God will be your God, she said. My people will be your people, she said in the Bible. Amen. And she ended up blessed. Amen. And meeting Boaz. Hallelujah. One day she was cleaning the field. Next thing you know, amen, she owned the field. Hallelujah. 
That's how awesome God is when you serve him. Amen. She made the God of Israel, Israel her God. And look what came. Amen. I dare you to try him. Amen. If you don't know him, you need to get in him. You need to pray without ceasing. Amen. You need to study the word of God. You need to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our comforter that will lead and guide us. Hallelujah. Into our truth. God never changes. Amen. He's the same and he is able. So shout no fear here. No fear here. Said no fear here, devil. I see you. I see what you're doing in my life, but I know who I am. Hallelujah. I know who I serve. I know who my father is. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. That's what God, my father, told me. And he's the same God, the same awesome father. And he never changes. Amen. He never changes. I'm going to go to the book of Numbers. Amen. To the book of Numbers. Amen. In the Bible that I was talking about Caleb. Amen. And, and Joshua. Hallelujah. In the scriptures. Caleb. And Joshua. I'm going to go to the beginning of. Amen. The book of Numbers. The book of Numbers 13. Chapter 13, amen. The book of Numbers 13. And we go down to verse 30. Amen, people of God. Amen. This is about J uh Joshua, amen, and Caleb. Amen. They came back to Moses and Aaron after exploring and looking at the promised land. Amen. They came back and they told everything they saw to Moses. And they gave an account, amen, and told them that they had went into the land which he had sent them. A land flowing, amen, of milk and honey, amen. Here is it. It's fruit there, amen. But the people, amen, but the people who live there are powerful. He said, if you read the verses up, and the cities are fortified and very large. We even saw the sentence, amen, there. They saw a lot of things as Moses sent them to look at the promised land. But look at Caleb, amen. Caleb, then Caleb in verse 30, silenced the people before Moses and said, we should go up and take possession of the land. For we can certainly do it. Amen. Caleb, hallelujah, said it. He had no fear because he knew God. He knew the God that he served. Amen. Was able to help them and deliver them. Amen. And how 